Well, we will get started here. I wanted to welcome again everybody and thank you so much. We have Khaled here and he will be hosting today and I will be your presenter. So I wanted to thank you so much for joining us today. It's all about you learning the platform for Mediator Select and we're going to give you a demo. We're going to take you step by step through the entire process and let you know how easy it is and um, to set up your over here so you will just just click on the login button here and I do have a test test email so I'm going to log in right now and so I'm going to um, go step by step and show you everything you'll need uh, to do and we're going to actually create uh, create a program here so once you're logged in this is uh, the screen you will see and I'll go through all of the different tabs here for you. Um, so this is actually your account here. So once you're in your account, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna first make sure everything is as up to date as possible. Your name, you can choose a file for your um, photo here. Uh, and this is where you can talk about yourself and your practice. So make sure you put a good description in there and anything you think of that you can put in here and save the changes. And so over here, any training programs that you have created, you'll see everything here in that tab. Um, and so this here shows you all of your titles, your creation date, your starting date, end date, the price that you put in. Um, and the good thing about the platform is you can edit your programs. And so we'll go through all of that. So once they're already published, you don't have to worry that everything is set in stone. You can edit them. And here you can see how many bookings that you have. If you click, um, this is a link here, you can click on that to see how many bookings you have. And it shows you everybody who has registered or enrolled in your program. And we have an archived programs tab where you can copy a program and then testimonials. And again, uh, we will go through all this in, in a little bit more detail here in just a second. So to create a new training program, here is the create new program button. So we're going to click that here. So to create a new program, these are all the tabs here on the top. So you would start by giving your program a title. And make sure the lead headline here, this is a subtitle. And we're just going to do test here. This is a testing server. <laughs> so I'm going to go through and step by step. And just so I can show you everything that you'll have to do. So this lead headline here, this is a subtitle. This is, is pretty important. This is what the um, students will see. Um, and we'll go through and we can look here. So the subtitle, so this would be an example here of a complete title. Um, and you want to make it, you know, make sure you make that title kind of attention grabbing and engaging. Uh, and then the subtitle here is that lead title. So this is just tells a little bit more about the program. So the lead title here. Um, uh, and what's really nice is if you have a YouTube video as a promo or you have a YouTube video um, for your business, you can put that link here. Um, and what that will do is watch intro video here on this section. This is what they'll see if they click, um, if the student clicks here. So if you have that YouTube video, that really does help um, market and promote yourself. So make sure you put that in there. And, it, and then here's the description. Um, and it has some really nice editing features here for you. Um, so I'm just going to put a test description here so I can show you the features there. Um, so you can bold, um, italics, and we've got some other nice features here too. So centering, 
So just all of your basic formatting. And this description is really nice. And um, you want to really make this as complete as possible. So if it's an online program, um, make sure you put information about the location, uh, not an online, I'm sorry, an on-site. If it's an on-site program, make sure you put the location in there. If it's at a university or a hospital or uh, wherever wherever your program is, um, addresses, make sure you put everything in there as complete as possible. And the title and description are mandatory. Uh, so you won't be able to advance forward um, unless you unless you do put that. If we come down here, you can put um, whether or not your program has coaching included. Some uh, some of our online training programs, uh, there is a coaching component um, included with, with the program, uh, which is really nice and which uh, really makes the value of the program even more. So if you do have coaching included, make sure you check this box. And then if it's CE eligible, if you have received uh, continuing education uh, accreditation for your program, if you have gone through that process, and if your students will receive CEs, make sure you check this box. And you can put the number of CEs here and make sure you use the dot um, for decimals. So if it's uh, 7, you put 7.0 or 7.5. CPE credit the same or CEU, so whatever applies to your program. And this tags feature is also very important. So what tags do is you can set keywords, kind of like SEO or search engine optimization for your program. Uh, so that way if people uh, are on the site looking for a specific topic, a specific program, this is what will uh, they will be able to filter by. So if they're looking for, um, for example, divorce, you can have uh, divorce as one of your tags or um, basic mediation, really whatever, whatever it is. Um, and so you would just type, type your word and then hit the enter key. And the enter key will save that in the system for you. And one nice feature, too, that really makes this uh, platform really easy to use is it automatically saves when you click outside in the uh, white space. So there's really no save button. So don't get nervous that you don't see a, a save button here. It is saving your information for you. So every time you click outside here or click into another box, you'll see here that it has saved your saved your entries for you. So that's really nice. And then if I scroll back up to the top here, that's your about, that's tab number one. So that's all of your background information about your program. And then here we've got a pricing and schedule. So here is where you would put your start date. So for example, if it's a, an on-site program, you would put your start date, your start time, and your ending date and your ending time. And currency here, we have an option for currency, and we have all of the um, dollars, uh, currency amounts here. We have early bird pricing, and the location information is the next tab. So I'm going to click the next step here, and it'll bring me to the location information. And this is where you can select your on-site, uh, if it's an on-site training, which would be classroom-based, or your live training, and you can also select online training. So this would be your web training. So this would be your webinar, your Zoom, your WebEx. And we have here um, the link um, section. So if you want to put a link to your online class, um, you can do that. But probably, most likely, what the trainers will do is if it is a WebEx, instead of putting that link right in the description, you can send them an email after they register. So that would be um, a personal email from you. Then in the next step, the contact information. Uh, so sometimes you might have a contact that was uh, that will be different than the training provider. So you can put that in here if there is a different contact or if it's going to be the same as the data that is on your account tab, you can just click here and that will auto fill all of these boxes here for you. Um, so that will pull in for you. So that is really nice.
So once you're ready, you've reviewed everything, you can go back and review any of the information that you have put in. You can click previous step or you can click any of these tabs here to go back and forth. And once you're ready, this is the publish program button. So this will publish the program for you on, um, on, our, on the platform. And so that saves it. So you can see here, you can go back and review uh, everything that you put in. And you'll see here, um, you don't have the green, the way the students will see it, they will have a green button here um, in this area at the top where they can book the program for themselves and they can enroll. You will not see that button because you are the trainer and you have the training account. But for the students who are um, the students who are registering, they will have this book program button right here. So that's um, just a little tip. And that um, that really essentially is all there is to it, all there is to it to publish your uh, post on the training platform. And so what we'll do now then is I wanted to take just a minute so that um, you can see just one more thing here as a student so that you can see everything how a student will see. So if we click here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log in with my test um, student account. So once you're logged in as a student, you can click here and, and as I said, you can book the programs and I wanted to show you a couple of other features too. So once they have a program booked, we're going to book my seat. So once they're already booked, they're going to see everything here in a nice um, summary screen. So all of the information about the program will appear for them right here. They'll have the, the website, the trainer's name, all of the details. So all of the details that you have put in in the description when you set up the program, they will see that here. And the nice thing is they will get an automated, an automated email uh, with all of this information too. Um, so that's really nice. They're gonna have that in an email, but they can log in and see this at any time. Uh, so they'll, ha they'll have everything right here. And this write a review, um, write a review, they can write a review and leave a review. And this is really nice. And you really want to encourage um, your students all along the way to leave you those reviews. They can give you stars. This really helps you build your business um, and to market yourself on the platform so that when other people are looking for programs or they're looking for um, things like that, they will see all of these uh, on online. And, and that really helps. And they can send an email to you. And so if they click this button, they can put a subject, a message, and send a, an email really easily if they have any questions, and that will come directly to you. And I wanted to take another minute too. I, do, I don't think um, that I showed you the um, testimonials button. So I wanna make sure I point that out. Um, you can create, um, if you have a testimonial that somebody has sent you about your business, uh, not about the course uh, course so much, but about your business, you can put all of those testimonials here. And as Khaled said, this is really um, an easy platform to use. I can definitely say I've gone through all of it and it's, it's they make it very easy for you. And there's a support um, email. So if you're going through and setting things up and you have questions, um, on the next uh, slide, I'm gonna give you the um, email for support. So if you do have questions, if, if you come up on anything, any roadblocks as you're setting up your program, uh, be sure to reach out to that email and, and they can help you out. Um, and uh, yes, um, so act now. Um, you can sign up or log in to this um, mediatorselect.com. Um, but yes, you can go ahead and, and create your profile, log in as a trainer now, and really start and publish your first program. We did have a question in the chat box, what this is the charge for um, training providers? This is a free uh, free platform for training providers. So there's no charge to you. You can create, as Khaled said, you can create as many programs as you'd like, edit them. Um, they automatically archive for you after the start date. So once they're archived, you can duplicate it. So that makes it really easy too for you to create more programs, you can copy, edit, and you can um, go into your archives and duplicate a program. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, so be sure to get in there and publish your programs. 
add some testimonials for sh social proof. Like Khaled said, that's really important and that really helps um, to focus uh, people's search and they can see your stars have your students leave you positive reviews. As, as students take your programs, be sure to reach out to them and have them go in, go back in, log in, and, and leave you some reviews um, for your course so that you can in, increase your rating and, and give, get even more um, get even more people to, to see you and and to benefit from your programs and and that's what it's really nice about the the training platform is it really helps get quality training out there um, needed training to help the mediation and, and the ADR um, practice uh, so not only to help your practice and your business but to help get quality training out there too and as we said you can monitor your students registration so anytime somebody registers you're gonna you can go in at any time see their information see their email so everything that you've um, that they put in to sign up for your programs and you can communicate with them uh, all along the way if you want to send them emails and support at mediatorselect.com so as I said if you have any questions as you're setting up your program be sure to reach out uh, we, we really want to help you get your programs published. Um, and so if you have any questions, be sure to send an email.